So this problem is telling us that we have a compound containing C, H, and O, and is found to contain 9.1% hydrogen and 54.5% carbon. What is its empirical formula? So to start with um, doing this type of problem, we'll assume a 100 gram sample. And that means that we have 100 grams total. So if it's 100 grams total and 9.1% of it is hydrogen, then that means we're going to have 9.1 grams of hydrogen. And if we use the same reasoning for carbon, that means we'll have 54.5 grams of carbon. And since the problem tells us that it's only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, then that means the rest of the sample is going to be oxygen. So we can use 100 minus 9.1 minus 54.5 to give us the grams of oxygen. 54.5. And that gives us 36.4 grams of oxygen. So now, what we need to do is convert all of these masses to moles. That way we can find the empirical formula. So 9.1 grams of hydrogen, we multiply that by the molar mass, which is approximately one gram per mole for hydrogen. The grams cancel out and we're left with 9.1 moles of hydrogen. Now let's do it for carbon. 54.5 grams of carbon and there's 12 grams per mole for carbon and 54.5 divided by 12 gives you 4.54 and that's moles <clears throat> of carbon. So finally, let's work on the oxygen. 36.4 grams of oxygen Multiply that by the molar mass, which is 16 grams per mole. So now we have 36.4 divided by 16 grams. That gives you 2.28. So now we have all of the moles of our elements. Now what we need to do is divide by the smallest amount of moles that we see here. And I think that 2 is the least out of 9 and 4. So We'll have to divide 9.1, divide that by 2.28, divide this by 2.28, and finally it divide itself by 2.28, and that's going to give you 9.1 divided by 2.28 is about 4, um, 4.54 divided by 2.28 is roughly 2, and this divided by itself is obviously going to give you 1. So what these numbers are telling us is that these are going to be the subscripts of the empirical formula. That means for carbon, we have a 2 here, so we're going to write C2, then hydrogen has a subscript of 4, H4, and then O is just 1, so that's just going to be O. That means that this is your answer. The empirical formula is C2H4O.